Hello, this is my event timeline to get two crops from one bucket in the same year by recycling the soil that has grown a previous crop. I don't want to um, spend too much time explaining this because I've already done it once uh, in a video that I posted a couple of weeks back. Uh, but what I will do is, uh, at the end of this video, I will give you a link to that video in the thumbnail that will actually show you uh, and explain to you uh, how we pull this off. Okay, right. The reason I'm shooting this video today is just to bring you up to date. Uh, if you're following this timeline um, and you're in the UK, then you're in February, which is our last winter month. Okay, and I've indicated February in this column uh, with these markers to show you where we're at. So if we just go um, down that column and see where we should be uh, in relationship to all the activities on this timeline. Okay, so in January and February we saw some leak seeds. Okay, these are my leak seeds. I'm guessing you probably can't see that very well. So I'm going to bring it closer to the camera. And this is a leak called muscle bread. So this is muscle bread. Um, there aren't many through just yet, and I have sown uh, quite a few more. Um, this is just one particular pot with a few seeds in. Leak, leak called muscle bread. And as you can see, they're through, and they've been in about um, 12 days. Okay, so we've got our leaks started, uh, and that's one of the first jobs in the gardening year on the timeline. So we've got our leaks started. Uh, by now, we should be cheating early potatoes. These are some of my early potatoes being cheating. Uh, there are a number of ways you can do this. One other way that I prefer is to cheat, actually chip them in soil. Uh, there's a video on the channel that will show you me doing that somewhere. Let me take one out, bring it close to the camera. Okay, so as you can see, this potato is chipping up quite nicely. So we've got our leeks away, and we've got our potatoes away. Uh, and at the end of February, which we're just moving into now, we'll start thinking about our next step on this timeline. But if we come down February, right at the bottom, okay, you'll see there's another activity here. Winter composting action. Um, winter composting action. That's something we started in September of last year and it's continued on through the months, the, the autumn and winter months. So this composting has been going on now, one, two, three, four, five, six, nearly six months. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, what this winter composting is all about. Uh, that was my uh, smallest compost pile in the world when the composting started in about September. Um, most of that compost is predicted has now disappeared into the pots. Uh, the worms and anything else that lives in there have been feasting on that compost over the winter and then reaching that soil uh, ready to go later this year. Okay, now one other thing I want to show you and I'm also going to um, post a link to another video. Okay, so we'll give you a link to the video that explains that timeline better. But this, this is a light box that I made. And this is something that I use to make sure my seedlings growing indoors grow uh, straight and strong 
and rather than bending over to the light. This is a six cell module with six sweet corn sewn in it. This is another six cell module with six sweet corn sewn in it. This cell was stood in this light box to grow that sweet corn. This cell was just stood on the windowsill next to the light box. I think you can see the difference, can't you? So if you're going to be growing seedlings like leeks or onions or sweet corn, anything, if you're growing any seeds, starting any seeds indoors, my advice to you would be to make one of these no cost light boxes and in the video that I'm going to um, attach as a link at the end of this video it will show you me making one of these light boxes uh, and demonstrating how it, how it works I think I might even have a light meter on the job I can't remember it's that long since I shot that video okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've started your potatoes got them chicken um, and these will be early potatoes if we're working on this timeline not main crop, not late, early potatoes we want them in, we want them out and we want those leaks planted please send me a comment we like our comments at Home Grown Veg and we do our best to respond to any questions that are asked if you've enjoyed this video a thumbs up would be nice if you're not a subscriber, you may want to subscribe. Choice is yours. Okay, so this is Homegrown Veg, signing out.